I want to read and quickly analyze a memorandum uh, that was acquired by some members of Occupy Miami regarding uh, Peace City or what is referred to as Tent City. The memorandum is from Joe Martinez, chairman of the, of the uh, Board of County Commissioners to uh, Mayor Carlos Jimenez. Uh, the title is Tent City. Thank you for your December 28th memorandum regarding my December 9th inquiry. As I stated on the December 9th memo, I hold sacred the right to free speech afforded to our citizens by our Constitution. However, what is occurring on the grounds of the Stephen P. Clark Center is no longer a protest. What may have started as free speech exercise has turned into a tent city without a visible purpose or end. Your department issued an open-ended permit, which is not customary. My question was why? There have been various criminal complaints at Tent City to include a highly publicized missing child report. We also have knowledge that certain activities are being monitored by a federal agency. While the commission may pass legislation prohibiting overnight stays on county facilities, you currently have the authority to control trespassing. Will you exercise your authority on this matter or allow it to continue and wait for the BCC to legislate action, a process which may take several months? The analysis I want to give is essentially to make sure that those who read this letter interpret the information appropriately. Because while there is certainly going to be subtext that requires more context to properly understand, there are some statements made here that need to be taken clearly lest we get you know, distracted by minutia. Um, I wanted to point out that he states we may have started what may have started as a free speech exercise has turned into a tent city without a visible purpose or end. Occupy Miami has some obvious purposes, uh, which you know we like to discuss and debate. Um, my particular issue being the wars that we are our country is currently engaged in. Um, so here he calls into question the purpose or the end to which. Uh, this tent city exists. Now, you have to ask yourself, does that tent city, is there a visible purpose to that tent city? I'm not going to answer that question in this forum. However, I'm simply going to ask you again, when you go behind the government center to where we have our, to, not we, but where the tents are, who, where, where, tent, where the peace city um, site is, is there a visible purpose or is there a goal, a visible goal to that, to our occupation of that space? Then he, later in the letter, which is just a two paragraph letter, he says that there was a highly publicized missing child report. Now about this, I'm not sure of the specifics since he doesn't specify who the missing child was. However, uh, there was a case, I was uh, unfortunately involved in the news coverage of the case um, that involved an un, uh, a minor whose mother knew where she was, but whose mother didn't have an interest in coming to get her. Um, so this highly publicized missing child report may be the product of, gov uh, of a media spin. Uh, Channel 10 News, local Channel 10 News, has been very inaccurate in the reporting of Occupy Miami, and they've taken pretty much all interviews that they've done with members of Occupy Miami out of context. So um, I guess the thing that's concerning a lot of people is the next line. We have knowledge that certain activities are being monitored by a federal agency. I really wouldn't be too worried about this, whether it's the FBI or Homeland Security or what have you, as long as people are doing things the right way. And they don't need to worry about this, this, uh, this monitoring because we are behind. I mean, we're in the middle of a government district. That's where that tent city is. It's in the middle of a government district. And there's no reason to expect that federal agencies wouldn't be monitoring our activities in the middle of the government district. We've got federal courts, and we've got holding cells, and we've got uh, various eight federal agencies that, are, that have offices within a walking distance of that location. So that information doesn't surprise me or shock me. Um, and those who are interested should investigate this further uh, because if he has knowledge that certain activities are being monitored, then those of us who are part of this movement should, t should find out what those activities are and who is monitoring those activities. Um, because if, there are, if they are illegal activities that, 
that need to be exposed, then there's no reason why we shouldn't be the ones to uh, push that effort forward. Uh, so again, I ask you all not to take this letter out of context. This is a letter written from one politician to another about a situation that is strange and is causing a lot of confusion and issues for them. And they're they're you know they're just like usual. They're doing their best to cover their butts. So. Um, I want, oh, the last thing I want to say is that, you know, they're going to try to pass um, legislation that makes camping illegal. So if, if, if occupying a space and, and sleeping there overnight is an important part of this movement, if it is, then this is something that we need to be prepared for. Um, that legislation has not been passed yet. So that is to say that there is no legislation on the books in Miami-Dade County claiming that camping overnight on public land is illegal. Um, that's what I get from this letter. Peace.